Guys, I thought I'd show you this. This is basically a demonstration. I've got a Titan 69C 383L uh, EFDW2, uh, 10 meters of extension cable and everything, um, all connected up by different hubs and bits and pieces. Basically, all through these two. So one is the 383L and one is the rest of everything, including the hub. So what I wanted to show you is. Um, basically this working. I've got my application here, um, it's running and uh, all it's going to do is just try to populate down here with the individual bits and pieces. Um, so let me uh, just uh, quickly switch this lot on. You can see it's a bit noisy. You can see the uh, filter wheels going around. I just have to wait for it to go around twice. Dirty filters, I see. Yeah, a bit of a clean. Right, so the filters are there, and you can see the 383L there as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just plug in the first one, which is, I believe, the 383L. Oh, wrong way around. Oh, right way around. And you can see the 3A3L initializer. And it's shutty. And then, oh, just plug in the rest of them. And uh, what you'll see on the. on here is you'll see 3A3L, uh, 60IC, 10 EFTW, and the Titan all pulled in. So, there's a few little things I need to do with this app, but uh, the idea is that you can build your configurations with a couple of little trains and then guiding on the bottom. So the idea is this will be a big pull, a drag and drop. So you take your uh, 303L and you drag and drop it across like this and you put it into your imager. Still haven't finished that yet, but there we go. And then, for example, your guide cam will do the same. And if there was, yeah, when the you know, AOX comes on, you better do the same with your mount, etc. etc. Um, so, and the idea is that this will be, uh, I'll simplify this a little bit, um, and this will become like a Mac Capture app um, that we can use. Okay, thanks. Bye.